Listen, Luigi, mm -hmm. I was at an event a couple weeks ago. Right. And I thought we should do just a quick training video, you and I. Absolutely. And I'm gonna, I want to ask you a few questions. I'm an athlete. What yeah. do I do? So the first thing is, if you're an athlete, you've got a high-performance engine. In the car, you put in gasoline, you put in oil, you put in coolants. In the human body, we need carbohydrates, protein, healthy fats. Carbohydrates, proteins, healthy, healthy fats. fats. You got so it. Keep it simple. Very simple, those three okay. things. That's all you get in nature, and we've got them in our, in our products, in our life products. All right. Super healthy. So easy. start me out. All right. So the first thing, in the morning, Formula One, two and a half hours before your race time or exercise time, I'd have a shake. Why? Be, most importantly, you've got to have some fuel. So carbohydrates and protein are mixed in the shake. I mix this with water. Or right. milk, if you're okay with milk. I don't do so well with milk. So I put this in water with a banana and blueberries. Banana, blueberries. Why the banana, blueberries? Right. So you've got healthy carbohydrates. You don't want to have a big glass of juice. You don't want to have a, a you know, sweet chocolate bar or something. That's not going to help you. This is healthy carbohydrate that's going to get stored in the muscle tissue. It's like you're filling up your gas tank before a long trip. Two hours yep. before I race, take a shake. Absolutely. Okay. Now, is this going to give me enough calories to get through a two-hour triathlon? It will. Well, the important thing is pre-race the night before, you You've already had your sufficient amounts of carbohydrates and protein with your dinner, so you're eating lean, chi you know, lean chicken, pasta, rice, and beans, whatever you choose to have. The night so, before. All it, right. Absolutely. So that is that carbo loading. You hear that? You exactly. have that term a lot. But now I'm hearing some people knock carbo loading a right. little bit. Yes? No. Yeah, carbo loading is still the same philosophy that we've had for 30 years. The only thing is you don't want to deplete your carbohydrate stores like we did 10 years ago. To keep it real simple, you're just going to have about 2,000 calories of carbohydrates, pasta, rice, beans, every day, week, the week before competition. Right. It's very, it's, we call and them shakes. Six, and every shakes day. included. Yeah. Okay. So I'm giving probably an athlete two to three shakes a day in addition to their two to three meals. That's For a, a week before, a month before, exactly. every day. One week before race day. That's what all the new science shows. Okay. So, yeah. And then the day before race day, just did a little bit different on product. Yeah. I'm Chilling out. Yeah, you're ch exactly. You're doing the same thing with products. The only thing is that you're not training hard. In fact, you're probably going to take a nice, easy rest day. And what's that happen? That means your gas tank really sucks up all the carbohydrates and protein. Got so it. you're filling up the gas tank and you're topping it off. Okay. So what? Let's talk about some other products then. Yeah. So this is two, two and hours, hours before yeah. the race. About two hours before race time. Let me cheat a little bit. What sure. about after the race? The exact same thing after the race. Now, what's going to happen after the race? You've damaged the muscle tissue. You've got a window of 30 minutes. Right. And this is where I'm actually going to add a little bit more carbohydrate. I might add milk because milk has lactose, milk sugar. That's okay. After the race, your muscles are going to really just absorb that. And tissue. the word is recovery. Exactly. So if I'm an athlete, I walk up to you, you're an Herbalife distributor in a booth, and say, "Is this a recovery product?" What do you say to me? Absolutely. This is the best recovery product because we've got a plant-based protein, and we add in a milk protein. And you, these two proteins give a quick and sort of a slowly digestible protein source. Anything else before the race? Before Any the other race. Herbalife products? Yes, we got them all here. We've got great sources of caffeine. Now you. You might notice that if you run a 10K or a marathon or you do a bike race or triathlon, a lot of people drink coffee. This is NRG that you picked up, right. nature's raw guarana. I take about one serving, which is about 70, let's say 70 milligrams of caffeine, less than a cup of coffee. Two hours, one hour? 30 minutes before race, within one hour. Sip it. Yeah, you can just sip it. Just you don't, walk around, yeah. sip, sip it. it. Exactly. And what's it going to do? Give me energy? It does a couple things. Number one, it actually liberates these fats in the body, and the fats are basically going towards the engine to burn up for fuel. Now, we're not recommending a lot. Just about, let's say, the equivalent of one cup of coffee, which is uh, actually less than a cup of coffee, one serving of energy. So one serving NRG in my bottle, warm, cold, yeah. doesn't matter. I like to have it cold. If you want to have it warm, a lot of people race day are going to put it in a warm cup. But I like to have it cold. I think it's a little bit better digested. Okay. It uh, doesn't matter, though. All right. Where does Nightworks come into play? Yeah. Nightworks is a great product. And the Nightworks is going to be for circulation. Got You're it. actually clearing that lactic acid out of the muscle tissue. And you're also improving the blood flow to the muscle tissue. And when I'm talking to distributors, I say put two scoops in your water bottle. All right, let's talk about H3O. Yeah. You brought it up, so yes. let's go right to H3O. Yes. When? Fantastic uh, product. Now you can use it throughout the day. The most important thing is during the race, during physical activity, because you, you're burning that fuel in your gas tank, and you've got to replenish it for the end of the race. You've got to have gas to finish so, the race. Let's talk about that fuel sure. specifically. You were talking to me earlier in, in electrolytes. Right in here from what source? Yes, so natural sources of electrolytes, three that are very important. And every commercial sports drink on the market talks about them. We've got the best blend because we've got a little bit more sodium, 
potassium, and magnesium. Magnesium is the secret weapon in here. What is an electrolyte? An electrolyte is a body salt. And you know, we don't wake up in the morning and put a battery charger in our body or plug ourselves into a wall. We actually operate on food, and the electrolytes are what establish a charge in the body. So we have our own electrical electrochemical gradient. Without getting too scientific, you already did. <laughs> we need to have. <laughs> you got to have sodium, and you got to have potassium. You know, you're an athlete. Do you ever wake up in the morning and get leg cramps if you've been training real hard? I get leg cramps all okay. the time. That's sodium, potassium, and magnesium. You got to replenish those because you lose those when you're when so you're cycling. So I should be taking more H3O. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, so during the race? During the race, you gotta be having this. I would recommend you're having this every 15 minutes, about eight ounces, a small cup. So you gotta replace it. Yeah. it out of your water yeah. bottle. So if we're gonna put this in our water bottle, we're putting this in lift off. When I come to another, or excuse me, this is yes. night works, and we'll come yes. to lift off in just a Absolutely. second. Yeah. So H3O, electrolytes, replenishes some minerals in me salts, right. magnesium. Right. What else? You got the sodium, you got the potassium. Sodium, the potassium, magnesium is magnesium. key. Since you brought up magnesium, magnesium actually reduces cramping, and it's very important for muscle tissue, helping it to relax and perform better. And people don't fatigue as much. All right, so it says hydrate on here. What right. does that exactly mean? So we know that water is fantastic. I love cold water because cold water is absorbed better in the body. However, we look at athletes who are very high level athletes. We take a sports drink like H3O compared to water, this is better absorbed. So it. it actually hydrates the fluid in your body because of the electrolytes. They drive it into the tissue. It's better than water. You serve it cold. Because of the electrolytes, it's getting into the muscle tissue. And because you have more fluid, you're going to perform better. Is this an after also? This can be used as an after as well. So it's before, during, and after. Absolutely. OK. But, yeah. All right. Keep we'll it simple. It. I would use it if they really want to pitch it. I'd say during is the most important time. During so sports. That I'd put in my water bottle. Yeah, that's the one you're going to have your water bottle. And All you right. can mix with Nightworks if you like. Lift off. Lift off. Incredible product. You get the green tea that you can use in herbal concentrate or the guarana that we have in NRG. So, we, yeah. so are these the same product? Well, some of this guarana, we actually put guarana, which is a natural herb from Brazil with antioxidants. Right no calories, we add it into the liftoff. So you got a mix of green tea and guarana. Got it. One serving of liftoff, less than one cup of coffee. So when you're in a race, or you're in an event, or you're bicycling out recreationally, are you burning caffeine? Does caffeine burn? Yeah. Caffeine, what it does is basically it goes through the body, the liver does a number on it, and it metabolizes it into something called methyl methylxanthines. Not important, but these methylxanthines. Can you spell methylxanthines? <laughs> yeah, you methyl probably can. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's three types of methylxanthines. And these methylxanthines are very important for metabolism. Metabolism. So they stimulate the central nervous system. You feel more aware. Okay. Great. Go yeah. back to distributor. I don't right. expect them to okay. use that Too word scientific. or understand it. Quick. Right. Pitch. So basically, it? caffeine, I'm recommending it 30 minutes before, and you can add it for sure 30 minutes before activity, right. and you want to add it to your water bottle as well. Maybe one of these tablets. Okay. Yeah. So it, it's... Okay, and, and I think you have to be careful and warn people sure. about, you know, if you've got, uh, you know, health issues, you've got to be careful with any caffeine, sure. you've got to be careful with health issues on any, any product, so sure. just, you know, be careful, but these are high-end athletes, or these are people out Absolutely. there who are really going for it in a triathlon, or maybe even a new recreational use athlete, they need to have electrolytes, right. they need to have the caffeine for for Energy, performance, for performance. performance, burns fats, okay. and the night works for? And the night works is going to be for circulation. Got you're it. actually clearing that lactic acid out of the muscle tissue, and you're also improving the blood flow to the muscle tissue. All right, so we've got a couple other products left here. We've got one for sure left, which is a protein yes. bar. Love these, because when I'm running, if I'm going for a hike, if I'm biking, I, pop, I just pop these right in my pocket. Right. You've got to have protein for recovery. Now, you asked about recovery. I said, you have a shake within 30 minutes. But after the shake, let's say two hours later, let's say I'm driving home from a long trip, I'm going to have a protein bar because you've got to have more protein to repair the muscle tissue that you damaged. All right, so again, let's just make this real simple. Sure. I walk up to you after the race and say, hello, Herbalife distributor. Absolutely. Tell me about your products. Give me a quick pitch. I'm going to say, what you need is healthy fuel, just like a high-performance race car. 30 minutes before, you gotta have. You should have a shake in the morning. 30 minutes before, have a little bit of caffeine. Avoid the lattes, avoid the sports drinks. Here's your NRG or your liftoff. During the race, H3O, and then afterwards, recovery. Within 30 minutes, have our Formula One shake. And of course, if you're on the road two hours later, have a bar because you need protein snacks. Okay, you guys got that? Simple pitch from Dr. Luigi. Get out there, let's get more people on our products, a bigger opportunity for Herbalife every day. Good luck. Awesome.